don't talk about it, be about it. I've heard that quote so many times throughout my life. I tried Googling it and it said some dude named Bob Burns is responsible for that quote. It seems like it's something that David Goggins likes to say as well. Don't talk about it, be about it, stay hard. And I have been told that I'm the David Goggins of programming. Code on, motherfuckers! Virtually identical! I think it was nice for them to say that, but I'm no David Goggins by any means. But the whole quote, don't talk about it, be about it. I've had a lot of people mention like, how do you get motivated? How do you deal with procrastination? How do you stay consistent? Like that's my response to it is don't talk about it, be about it. Those are all things that you are capable of handling. If you don't want to procrastinate, stop procrastinating. Go do what you said you're going to do. It's so funny how people want like this magic pill or a video that they're going to watch or a blog post that they're going to read that's just going to be like, oh, that's it. Now I'm done. I'm ready to stop procrastinating. No, because actually all those things, those videos and those blog posts are all tools to keep you procrastinating. And I used to be one of those people when I would want to like do something or learn something, I would spend weeks researching something and getting all hyped up and then I would just not do it. Or then I would finally get around to doing it and not liking it. And that's procrastination for you. Just because you hype yourself up about something, it doesn't mean if you're not going to do it, that's the biggest thing that you need. Motivation will only last enough time to get you started, but it's not gonna stay there. You need perseverance and grit. You need to stick with something. You need to not talk about it and be about it and you need to go do it. So when people ask me about like, oh, how did you stay motivated? I didn't, I didn't. There was many days where I was just, I am sick of trying to learn how to code. I hated it at some point, but I was in it to win it, right? There's another cheesy saying that you hear a lot, but that was the truth. I was in it to win it. I was going to succeed no matter what. I spent so much of my life procrastinating things and not doing stuff that when I decided to learn how to code, I just did it. That's all I did. I decided that I was gonna do it. I didn't know what I was doing. I did spend some time researching, but then it was just all trial and error. It was me showing up every day and working on what I said I was gonna do. How did I stay consistent? I don't no, I don't know how I stayed consistent. Consistency is just doing it. When you decide to pick up any skill, when you decide to get in shape, when you decide to learn something, the, the only way that you're gonna accomplish what you set out to do is through consistency. No one's good when they first start anything. There are some people that are savants and they pick something up and they're just naturally great at it. But that accounts for like 0.1% of everyone who tries something new. The rest of the 99.9% .9 of us have to do it through consistency. We have to just keep showing up every day. We have to not talk about it and we have to be about it. We have to follow through with what we said we were gonna do. People that get done don't procrastinate. They don't sit around waiting for motivation. They do it through consistency. They do it through trial and error. They do it through trying to figure things out, breaking stuff, making mistakes, and learning every day. And then after you get your ass kicked, you come back the next day. The best thing I can compare it to is martial arts, specifically jujitsu or MMA, where you show up and you don't know anything. Like you don't. When I started jujitsu, I had been boxing for almost a year. I was in the best shape of my life. My cardio was phenomenal. Every night running like 10 miles a night parking cars and then every morning I would go to the boxing gym and train. And then when I decided to do jujitsu, I got my ass handed to me. All I wanted to do was go back the next day because I had so much fun and it was something I really wanted to learn. I showed up every day because I didn't procrastinate. I didn't wait for motivation. I just kept going back and I got my ass kicked every day, but I was consistent. All that time that I was putting in finally started to show. And a little after a year had passed, I became a blue belt and I stayed consistent for a long time. Even through injuries, even through life happening, I kept going back and I kept training. And that made me realize that consistency is key. Don't sit around waiting for the right time. Don't sit around waiting for motivation. Don't sit around procrastinating. Just be consistent. Even if it's a small amount of time every day, even if you're only able to put in 30 minutes or an hour, the time's gonna pass regardless. But if you do stay consistent with the things that you're trying to do and things that you're trying to learn, just from putting in a little bit of work, you'll see great results. After some time passes, you're gonna be surprised how far you've come. And I wanted to make this video because I get so many of those messages like, oh, how do you stay motivated? How, how do I beat procrastination? How do I stop looking at my phone? How do I get rid of distractions? Get rid of them. If your phone is that much of a distraction that it's going to prevent you from 
doing things that can improve your life, get rid of your phone. Get rid of that bad habit. Don't set yourself up for failure. If you're trying to learn how to code, if you're trying to learn anything and your phone's a distraction, don't bring it with you. It's common sense. And I know that that was one of the specific questions that I, that I got from someone. If you have a problem with video games, because I used to have a problem with video games, just stop playing. I've got nothing else going on. I don't know anything else that I can do. So I, I do that and, and that's going to be it. Well, go find what you want to do. Go, go try new things. If, if you're constantly just doing the same thing, of course, you're not going to see all those other things that you might want to learn. If you have a list of things that you want to learn or a list of things that you want to do and you have your phone or video games or drugs and alcohol or whatever distracting you or keeping you from doing those things, then get rid of those things and go do what you want to do. And I know the algorithm's not going to like this, but if YouTube's your distraction, stop watching YouTube videos and go out and do whatever it is that you set out to do. Stop making excuses. Stop looking for the right time. Stop looking for a sign from God or the universe to tell you to go do something. If you want to better your life, get in shape, make more money, go do those things. Stop talking about it and be about it. I know I've gone down that rabbit hole of trying to find motivation through videos and motivational speakers. I want it as bad as I want to breathe. I'm hungry. Sometimes that stuff helps when you're just kind of down and out. But if you find yourself watching that stuff and not doing anything, and if you find yourself stuck in that rut, there's no YouTube video out there that will get you off of your couch or get you off of your phone or get you away from your Xbox or get you away from that toxic relationship. No, you have to do those things on your own. And that's just the reality of things. That's just how it is. You got to put in that work, have a serious talk with yourself, write down what it is you want from life and go down that list and start checking things off. And if you don't know how to do something, Google it. Literally, we have the world's knowledge at our fingertips and we use it for the most stupidest things. And we use it for things that don't bring us any value. Stop looking for motivation. Stop worrying about how you're going to beat your procrastination and stop worrying about how you're going to be consistent. Just start doing those things. Start doing the things that you want to do and the rest will follow. <laughs> With all that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.